Good evening. My name is Carolyn Black, and I am the music director emeritus of Grace Church in Ossining with two campuses. We have St. Paul on the Hill on Ganung Drive, and we have Trinity Church on Route 9 in downtown Ossining. And I am doing Compline for you this Friday evening. And our order for Compline begins on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. And I have prayer names for Friday. And I have uh, a, a passage I want to read for you from Richard Rohr. But first, I'm going to give you these words for thought. And it's from a song, and it's called, I've Decided to Make Jesus My Choice. And it says, some folk would rather have houses and land. Some folk choose silver and gold. These things they treasure and forget about their soul. I've decided to make Jesus my choice. The road is rough, the going get tough, and the hills are hard to climb. But I've decided, I've started out, sorry, a long time ago, there's no doubt in my mind, I've decided to make Jesus my choice. give you uh, a really uh, I've been in the hospital and struggling with bruised ribs so um, I, I wasn't on last week but I wanted you to know that I'm still here and I wanted you to see my shirt which uh, my has has a lot to do with my COVID appetite and it says, my heart says chocolate and wine, but my genes say, for the love of God, woman, eat a salad. I still have my sense of humor. <laughs> and our order for compline begins tonight on page 127 in the Book of Common Prayer. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our heavenly Father, 
We have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses, and grant that we may serve you in the newness of life. To the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 31 on page 129. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me and make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net, for they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower and my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of faith. Psalm 134 on page 131. Behold now, bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that stand by night in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands in the holy place and to the Holy Spirit, to the Son, the Lord who made heaven and earth bless you out of Zion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me for I am gentle and lowly of heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Be sober, be watchful. Your adversary the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith. And now I have a short reading from Richard Rohr, whom I love, and who gives us great uh, insights into all kinds of religious thought. Father Re Richard preaches about Jesus' invitation to undeserved mercy, a worldview at odds with our economic system today. Another familiar parable is the story of laborers who arrive at the last hour and get paid as much as the ones that begin work at the first hour. Let's be honest, none of us who are worker bees appreciate this story. All of us would think that if we bore the burden of the day, the day's heat working, that we would deserve more than someone else. Yet this passage makes it clear that the landowner promised them what was fair. They agreed to the deal, and he gave them the usual wage. We call this reaction a sense of entitlement. Many Americans have it, especially if we grew up rather comfortable. When we grow up comfortable, we think we deserve. We think we have a, a special right. We would be offended if we didn't get our bonus or our raise. We all think we deserve just a bit more. This really creates a high degree of unhappiness and anger in our society. Of course, Jesus always turns everything on its head, ending with the punchline, these, sorry, those that you think are the last might be first. This is Matthew 20, verse 16. We'd better be ready to be surprised. The way most of us measure things, especially if we are privileged and comfortable, demonstrates that we might in fact not love God at all, 
but just ourselves. There's only one way to get out of this meritocracy and entitlement. Once in our lives, we have to experience undeserved love at a deep gut level. Where we didn't merit it, we weren't worthy of it. In fact, we were unworthy of it, and we got it away anyway. That's called mercy. Only the experience of divine mercy breaks down this entire way of counting. And that's what we do. We're all counters. We are. We think to ourselves, you, give the, you gave this much, so you deserve this much. Every such expectation is a resentment waiting to happen. When we expect, we're soon going to resent it when we don't get what we think we deserve. So, what the gospel says is, stop expecting. Entitlement is lethal for the soul. Everything is a gift. 100% pure gift. The reason any of us wake up, woke up this morning had very little to do with any and everything, and it had everything to do with God. had nothing to do with us, but everything to do with God. All 24 hours today are a total gift, and so the only real power is to say, thank you, and keep saying it, thank you. When our prayer is constantly, thank you, and we know we deserve nothing, and that everything is a gift, we stop counting. Only when we stop counting and figuring out what we deserve will we move from the world of merit into the wonderful world of grace. And in the world of grace, everything is free. And now let us pray the prayer that Jesus Christ taught us all. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us now pray for those who are in dire need and have asked for special prayers. For Faith, Bill, Father Pridemore, Alicia, Kathleen, Mary, Claire, Jenny, Jim, Nils, Dennis, Zach, Andrea, Robert, Teresa, Megan, Ralph, and Luz Maria, and for Magda, John, Charles, Llewellyn, Phil, Suzanne, Mike, Andreas, Tim, Jason, Sarah, Asa Jr., Yara, Dawn, Karen, Christy, Scott, Dorothy, Anne, Stephen, Kyle, George, Carolyn, and Richard. And for our essential workers, Holly, Ray, Alfreda, Jan, Alexis, Todd, Peter, Dina, Steve, Graham, Pablo, Bill, Anthony, and Nicola. And for those who have died, especially Jean Shook and Queen Elizabeth II. Be the light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm on page 133 in the Book of Common Prayer. Lord, look down from your heavenly throne and illumine this night with your celestial brightness that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or wait or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. 
soothe the suffering, pay the, p pity the afflicted, shield the joyous in all for your love's sake. Amen. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world that we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Bless you, my friends. Watch your neighbors. Stay safe. Wear your masks. Get your new vaccination. And we'll see you next time. Amen.